On April 20th, 1902, Marie and Pierre Curie isolate radium. Marie Sklodowska is born in Warsaw, Poland in 1867. She studies at the Sorbonne in Paris and graduates with a physical science degree in 1893 and a mathematics degree in 1894. She meets noted French physicist and chemist Pierre Curie, and they marry in 1895. The following year, French engineer and physicist Henri Becquerel discovers radioactivity, which leads Marie to begin studying uranium. Marie and Pierre begin working together in 1898. Through their study of the mineral pitch blend, which is made up primarily of uranium, the Curies are able to discover other radioactive elements like radium and polonium, which is named after Marie's native Poland. The Curies and Becquerel jointly win the 1903 Nobel Prize in Physics. Marie Curie is the first woman to win the award. Here are other events that happened today in history. In 1812, Vice President George Clinton dies, leaving the first vice presidential vacancy in U.S. history. In 1861, three days after Virginia's secession, General Robert E. Lee resigns from the U.S. Army. In 1889, Adolf Hitler is born in the Austro-Hungarian Empire to 51-year-old Aloise and 28-year-old Clara. In 1980, the first of 125,000 Cuban refugees arrives in the U.S. in what is known as the Mariel Boatlift. In 1986, Michael Jordan sets an NBA playoff record with 63 points in an overtime loss to the Celtics. In 1999, two teenage gunmen kill 13 people in a shooting spree at Columbine High School in Colorado. In 2010, an explosion and fire on the Deepwater Horizon oil rig in the Gulf of Mexico kills 11 people. And now it's time for our Today in History quiz. At which Beijing location did Chinese students famously stage protests against the authoritative policies of China's government in 1989? Tiananmen Square? The Forbidden City, Jingshan Park, or the Temple of Heaven? Think you know the answer? Drop your guesses in the comments below. Find out if you're right next time on Today in History.